It's about 617 and time now for What's Trending. A ham radio wrong number ended up being a life-saving call from hundreds of miles away. Check it out. It all started when California ham radio enthusiast Bill Scott got a call on his radio from his friend Skip in Oregon. And he dialed him by mistake. Bill's wife Sharon, a retired nurse, knew something was wrong immediately. She noticed that his speech was slurred and he wasn't able to stay on track with the conversation. And the call dropped, so the couple called 911. And local responders were able to rescue Skip, who had suffered a stroke. Now, thanks to a fateful wrong number and a ham radio hero, this long-distance friendship signal has only strengthened. I think this is a really wow. amazing story. Um, you know, first of all, that uh, you know, for, they're they're really good friends, hundreds of miles away. Uh, he happened to call him, uh, you know, in a moment of crisis, and and uh, the, the these just couple did the right thing and they responded. Um, you know, sometimes you might think that it, you might be overstepping or. Uh, you know, taking too much of a precaution, but it ended up saving the man's life. Absolutely. I mean, you never know when things like this are going to happen, whether right. you're going to be in that situation to help save somebody else. Um, it's really scary, but I'm happy that, you know, they were able to pick up on that quick. Mm. Um, and, you know, he has a very, very good taste in friends. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And you said they're hundreds of miles away, too. So, yeah, uh, uh, props to them for being able to call the, the local uh, dispatch there because mm. when you call 911, it goes to where your, your cell tower is pinging off of. So, I wonder how they were able to work through that, but either way, though, great to see that. Could have, that definitely saved a life there, if you ask me. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Well, speaking of good taste, Girl Scouts are calling on all chocolate lovers, me included. <laughs> the Girl Scout cookie lineup is about to get even more decadent with a brand new brownie-inspired cookie coming out in 2022. Doesn't this look delicious? Yes, it does. The Adventure Fools cookie has caramel-flavored cream and a hint of sea salt. Along with the new cookie, Girl Scouts USA also announcing new cookie business badges and they will help girls think like entrepreneurs as they run their own businesses um, and I'm very excited for this cookie. I feel like okay so let me just tell you about my okay. Girl Scout deal okay you know I feel like I like the cookies that a lot of people don't usually like okay. like I like the the I forgot what you call it tree tree falls fault I don't know but anyway <laughs> it's the shortbread cookie in the uh -huh. blue box those are good and that's like my favorite one Is like, there, I, I mean, can't do the peanut butter one the right. the chocolate with the coconut I can't do so this yeah. here I'm very excited for I think that people in general are going to be excited for this one too. I think yeah. that people will agree with you. I love a brownie cookie. That, that, that's a great idea. To add the sea salt caramel in there. Perfect. Yeah, that's The mint chocolate cake. chip one or the mint and chocolate. Ooh. I can't do that either. Oh, uh, the thin Ooh. mints. I'm that person. Uh -oh. Yeah, that thin hurts. mints. I know. That, I know. that just hurts. I'm I mean, sorry. You want me over because I, I'm not a big fan of coconut <laughs> with, with some of with the cookie, with that one cookie you mentioned er, right. either. But yeah. when you mentioned, was it mint chocolate chip? It's yeah. like, ooh. The mint chocolate. That just hurts. That's just really good though. I'm what do you so think? Peter. Yeah, I, I agree with you. But the, the worst part about this is we got to wait till 2022. Does that mean does not that this year? A, I did, I just, <laughs> that's a long time. That just hit me. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. Aww. Also, remember, we are in August already, almost September. That's so true. it's well. closer than you think. So, hey, and our school's starting too. So, yeah, you're right. <laughs> time's flying by. I'm sure many kids are not happy to hear that, but mm -hmm. we'll see. But meanwhile, though, Washington Monument remains closed after a dramatic lightning strike caught on video. Check out this video. It was shot on a cell phone Sunday morning around 12.30. The yellowish night sky turns blue as lightning flashes around the National Mall. Check out that lightning strike. Then a huge bolt of lightning strikes the, the obelisk of the Washington Monument. The lightning strike damaged the monument's electronic access system, and officials hope to have that repaired. And the monument reopened in the next couple of days. The monument regularly gets struck by lightning, especially in the summer when there are storms. And you know, when I think about this, though, I'm surprised they don't have any kind of preventive measures. They don't have any preventive measures in place already to prevent any kind of damage that takes place. Right. Whenever lightning strikes a monument, I mean, it's a tall building, so. Yeah, I mean, you can kind of predict that it's going to happen. You just, the hard part is telling when it's going to happen. Yeah. So, right. um, it's really amazing that this person just had their cell phone uh, rolling at the time, you know, rather than just taking pictures. They were taking that video, and it's funny because if you listen to the video, the guy thought he missed it. He's like, oh no, I missed it. Um, but <laughs> he got boom. it right there. Like, it's the perfect. 
perfect video. Really, really cool to see that. I almost wrapped, like I thought that was very, very cool and incredible mm. to capture, but I almost rather a picture in a way yeah. because, I mean, if he would have caught a picture of that, I mean, you could have, you could frame that. Get <laughs> a little <laughs> autograph on the bottom. I captured this. I, I've, I've seen some lightning strikes of like close enough where you can see the sparks from it. I was uh, safe and sound in my parents' house, but still, to see the, the sparks like that, it was mm. pretty cool. It's still a few miles away because the thunder wasn't so immediate, but either way, though, pretty interesting.